My name is Ms. M-I-Z Parker on Twitter and this is my walk away. I'm not a young person as you can tell. I'm 59. I've never missed any uh, election. I've never missed any voting in elections or any midterms my whole life. I have voted Democrat my whole life. Um, that's about to change. Uh, my story is, um, all my life, I, um, I, I had a real bad situation when I was a kid and I had to have an abortion. Um, I was raped and, um, I had to have an abortion and I was told that abortion is just tissue. You know, it's not a real person yet. And you know, all these things I've since come to believe since um, last election that uh, abortion is not just tissue and uh, finding the films on Planned Parenthood selling body parts of children was the beginning of my red pill to walk away. Um, but anyway, let's get back to uh, elections. So uh, on the last election I went into the voting booth and I was really excited because um, I thought I was going to vote for Hillary for president and um, a week before the election uh, it had come out that Hillary's emails um, had been discovered on her, I think her laptop or something, I'm not sure, but uh, Comey had come out and said they were going to re-up in the investigation that she might actually be, you know, have problems. So with this heavily on my mind, um, I go into the voting booth and every year I do every, every presidential election, it's like the vote for the president is like the best vote ever. So it's like dessert. So you vote for all the people in the voting and then you go back and you vote for the president last. And that's what I've always done because that's like the icing on the cake for voting is voting for the president. But in 2016, uh, I'm standing in the voting booth and I voted for everybody. <laughs> and I, I can't, I can't push the vote for Hillary. I can't believe I'm talking about it now and I get emotional. <laughs> but I'm standing in the voting booth and I'm looking at the names. And all I can think of is what happens if I vote for the first female president and she becomes impeached. I, um, I've been proud of all the people I voted for. I had been completely fooled by Obama. I thought he was a good president. I didn't really have any concept of what he had done. I certainly didn't know what he did in Benghazi. So, um... I was locked. I just, I stood there. I was there for at least five or ten minutes. Um, voted in Nevada. I lived in uh, North Vegas at the time. And the guy from the poll thing, he came over like, you okay? Are you okay? I go, no, I, I'm fine. I, I just can't make a decision. And he said, well, you were supposed to make a decision before you got here. And I said, well, I thought I did, but the problem is when I go to push the button, my brain is like, so I stand there thinking and I can't make a decision. And then it hits me, you know, you're from Vegas. And one of the things Vegas teaches you is play the odds. So what are the odds of Hillary getting problems or getting impeached? Well, I started thinking about all the scandals she's been involved in and I like, man, she may not be able to get out of this one. This this may actually be a serious scandal. So I reached over. Boop, and I pushed the button for Trump. <laughs> and in Vegas, once you push that thing, you can't go back and change it. So I pushed the button for Trump and I immediately burst into tears and walked away. <laughs> I thought that was a walk away moment. Oh, was I wrong? So uh, I leave. Uh, I leave the polling place, and I'm sick. 
because I think I've cast a vote against women. I, I feel like I let down Hillary. I feel like I let down women. It just sitting here thinking about that feeling that day, it was just awful. It was awful. And I was so brainwashed. <laughs> I was so brainwashed. <laughs> so I left the voting booth and I go home. And for the first time in my life, I don't watch the election returns because I'm, I'm horrified at what I had done. I, I, at the time I pushed the button, I'm like, yes. And then as soon as I pushed the button, I went, oh God, what did you do? And so I left. I went to bed that night about nine o'clock. I didn't even watch anything. The next morning on TV, there was this lady whose name is Rachel Maddox. And I, had, I didn't know who Rachel Maddox was. I don't watch TV that much, but I wanted to know, you know, I wanted to see how much Hillary had won by. And this is what I see. I turn on the TV and this is what I see. And this woman is, she's like, seriously, seriously, like upset and mad. She's like, this is not a joke. This is real. President Trump, uh, Donald Trump is your president. Donald Trump was elected president of the United States. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what have we done? <laughs> the entire country lost its mind. It voted for Trump. Oh my God, what's going to happen now? It's like, oh, this is here. <laughs> We're off the tracks now, folks. We are not in Kansas anymore, boy. What is going to happen? So I was like mildly interested to in this. Maybe this isn't going to be so bad. So uh, I call my family and they're just, <laughs> my daughters are upset. My family's upset. It's like, blah, Hillary's supposed to win. Mm, la, 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 la. I don't say nothing. I don't say anything. I don't tell my vote for Trump. Like, I'm chicken. And uh, so time goes by. And man, the economy's changing. Uh, everything's going well. Um, I start looking into different things and reading about different things and learning stuff. And then all of a sudden in November, this thing called QAnon comes up and I start reading it. And one of the first things that I started researching was um, uh, Planned Parenthood. And when I saw the videos online of what Planned Parenthood actually did with aborted fetuses, and I started checking into Hillary's ties to it, and I started going down the rabbit hole. And so now I know. Our country is at war, and it's a silent war. And there's very few people that know what's going on. Most of the country doesn't know. It's gonna break pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. We have over 50,000 indictments that is going to change everything when that breaks. The entire country is against our president, and I'm not. I'm a patriot to the core. I believe in our country. I believe in our freedoms. And the more I red-pilled myself, the more research I did, the more I realized we are lucky, lucky, blessed, blessed beyond blessed. God has touched our nation to put the president in office. He win <laughs> an election against the Democrats, against the Republicans. They were all after him. And he's won. But the Democrats are controlling the media. They are trying to control the United States and they're trying to make us go into one world order and I'm just not gonna have a part of it because I love my country America first so I'm a patriot and I will never vote Democratic again I have walked away from the Democratic Party I urge you to do the same I urge you to support this president I urge you to do research I urge you to find out more about the very people that you put your trust in because much of it is a smoke screen I urge you to walk away from the Democrats they're not telling you the truth <laughs>